Christ's Letters, Day 9 of my daily reading and recording of Christ's Letters. I am still on, in letter, on letter 1. And more importantly, the Father Consciousness working through me would do whatever was required for people in dire need of healing and comfort. At all times, I must overcome my rebelliousness against the harsh realities of existence and listen to the inner voice and conform to the higher will of the Father. This higher will was perfect love directed entirely at promoting my highest good. It would be extremely foolish, I realized, to continue along the path of self-will which had dictated my behavior to that time. It was then that I was inspired to speak in parables to the people. Those who were ready to receive the knowledge would understand and make good use of it. But as I turned out, as it turned out, even my disciples could not read themselves sufficiently of Jewish doctrine to enable them to understand either the principle of consciousness or the activity of the divine creative power within creation. Until this time, it has remained a mystery to all except the spiritually enlightened. Even the spiritual words of enlightenment cannot be immediately fully comprehended by the human mind. Therefore, these letters must be read slowly and accompanied by much meditation and prayer to be properly understood. Remember, unless you can become as a child, getting rid of a useless clutter of beliefs, prejudices, resentments, ambitions, and ego drive, with a mind filled with wonder and utmost faith, you will not be able to absorb these pages as you should. To become a child, you must make an effort to shed all past mental conditioning. If you are mentally, emotionally, physically suffering, it is only because whatever have been your most sincere beliefs, they have not been helpful to you. They have not promoted your well-being. Number 14. Mindset. It is time to examine your mindset. Are you happy with it? You can make choices, and as you make them, you can call upon the Father to help you make the changes and the help will surely be given you, providing you do not doubt. I therefore urge you to continue to read and absorb the following pages. I want to impress on you the strength of your mindset, which is the sum total of all your conscious and subconscious programming. It is essential you should understand that none of this human mindset has its origins in the spiritual dimension. It is entirely earthly and probably filled with mythical ideas, prejudices, misconceptions, resentments, buried memories of past hurts, and habitual methods of dealing with the ups and downs of life. Your human mindset including any religious ideas or beliefs, determines your world, your relationships, experiences, successes, failures, happiness, and misery. It is even responsible for your sickness, disease, and accidents. Nothing happens by chance. Everything is woven out of the inner threads of your personal consciousness, thoughts, expectations, beliefs in life, faith, God. You live in a world of your own making. This is why children raised in the same environment turn out differently. Each one has its own individual mindset constructed according to inherent char character traits. If from birth you had no developing mindset, you would be as unconscious as a statue devoid of feeling, responses, and thought. Vacantly, you would stare at the world, and whilst there might be a great deal of activity around you, nothing would, impede, would impinge on your consciousness, 
since you would be devoid of reaction. Nothing would make you happy or miserable even if a bump exploded in your vicinity. Without a mindset, you have no life, no development, no evil, no good. Your type of mindset determines the quality of your life. This is the very first truth of existence I want you to realize and fully and understand fully. Furthermore, for as long as you live, you carry your mindset with you wherever you go. There is no escaping it, and day after day, it will continue to create for you the type of existence you have experienced in your past. Many people go through their entire lives believing they are unfortunate. They think that other people have been mean, unkind, ugly to them, and have made their lives thoroughly unhappy. They believe that other people quarrel with them and constantly make difficulties whilst they are absolutely innocent of any provocation. On the contrary, other people are not to blame. It is the personal mindset which is attracting to them their negative conditions. Many people shy away from the suggestion that they alone are responsible for their troubles. It is more difficult for some people to face up to their inadequacies than it is for those who have the inner strength and self-confidence to look at themselves fairly and squarely. Sincere prayer draws the Father creative consciousness into the mind quietly, secretly. It cleanses the human consciousness of all that the seeker no longer feels comfortable with. It is, of necessity, a very gra gradual process of inner cleansing and development. <laughs> Number 15. Emotional Patterns Your emotional patterns can be as damaging to your overall welfare as your mindset. Your mindset, together with your emotional patterns, are your creative tools. These, together, create the necessary outlines for future possessions, events, and circumstances. These creative tools work in your life whether you intend them to or not. It is far more difficult to discover your deep-seated emotional attitudes, either conscious or subconscious, than to recognize your mental conditioning. People can be possessed by negative emotional patterns and be quite unaware of them since they are covered by the moment-to-moment -moment emotions arising from the daily routine. To discover what your emotional patterns really are, ask yourself questions along the following lines and be totally honest with yourself. To try to hide from the truth of your emotional patterns is merely to deceive yourself and hold back and hold yourself back from achieving the joyous state of existence you were intended to enjoy. How do you really feel about life? I want you to write yourself a warmly compassionate letter telling yourself exactly how you feel as you answer the following questions. Are you happy to be alive or would you prefer to be able to cease to live? If your truthful answer is the latter, then you have a negative attitude towards existence and are at war within yourself at a deep level. You know, consciously, that you have to continue your daily life, but at your deepest level, you would like to quit. The interior war prevents you from attracting all that you could be experiencing with a positive emotional pattern. How do you really feel about your relatives? Is there any buried hostility which you do not want to admit or that you did not realize existed? How do you feel about your employment, colleagues, entertainment, other races, etc.? Write down all your discoveries about yourself and lock it away in a safe place. This work you have done for yourself is for yourself only for your benefit. You have not done it to make you a better person or to please God or to win approval from other people. You have done this work to remove existing inner blocks 
to your spiritual development and ultimate happiness. If you decide to change your life by reading, by reading these letters daily, I urge you to put your dated letter in a safe place. Reread it in a year's time and rejoice in the great changes which you will see have taken place in your mindset. You will also see that there have been changes in your circumstances. Remember that prayer and meditation focused entirely on your Creator will bring you new strength and insight which in turn will bring changes to your feelings and environment. When praying, never focus on your problems. Always ask for the right remedy. Let your Creator bring you the right solutions which your human mind is incapable of thinking up. For instance, never tell your creative fa father how ill you are. Concentrate on the power you are receiving immediately into your condition, although your consciousness may be too densely human to feel it, and give thanks for your swift recovery and believe in it. When you give thanks, you are accepting, acknowledging, believing, impressing in your own consciousness the realization that your prayer now lies within the Father Love Consciousness and is being processed for visible manifestation in due course at the right time. When in Palestine, I constantly gave thanks for the work before it was accomplished. Never pray and then go out of your room and tell people how ill you feel or how terrible the personal or national situation is. If you, ha if you have asked the Father Creator to solve your problems, finances or poor health, what an insult to the Father Creator to continue to bring up past negative conditions. You immediately undo the work of the Father Creator is engaged in. If in your mind, after prayer, the old conditions have not become past negative conditions, then return to prayer until you can dismiss them from your mind and really believe that all is being divinely taken care of. Write that meaning. Return again and again to give thanks for the benefits you have asked for. They will surely materialize. There are many thousands of people in your world today consistently relying on the Universal Father Creator to fulfill their every need and witnessing to the manifold blessings in their lives. Abandon fears. They have availed you nothing. Now turn to the Universal Cre Father Creator as the source of your being, conception, growth, development, nutrition, regeneration, healing, fulfillment of your every need, protection, all within a system of spiritual law and order. Realize that all this wonderful work is constructive, purposeful, orderly. You truly have a mastermind behind you, your family and living conditions. Trust it. Do not allow your thinking to spoil the divine creative operation. Remember, above all, that I, the Christ, only performed my so-called miracles because I realized that the kingdom of God was within me and that I could always rely on my Creator Father to do the work in and through me. Remember that you only have an individual consciousness because you have drawn it from the Creative Father consciousness. When your personal consciousness is fully cleansed of negativity, you will discover that you too have become a purified channel of Creative Father consciousness. You will be a joyous source of growth, nutrition, healing, nurturing, protection, fulfillment of need within a system of good organizational law and order to all who come within your orbit. This powerful influence will be extended through your mind to your families, friends, neighbors, farmlands, and your animals and crops. Even as electricity passed through your hands will light a Bunsen burner in a laboratory, so will your life force radiations benefit all who come within your radius of influence.